Aztec Turquoise Mine is off that way, also called the Stone Hammer Mine. The pre, pre-written pre history miners of Turquoise there left their stone tools behind, no point in carrying them. Apache Canyon is behind this concrete over here. Can't see the road from this vantage point. I'm now leaving Apache Canyon. Nobody was home and I didn't think I should film their residence uh, out of privacy issues. I guess it wouldn't matter if I filmed their camp, but you know, you never know, somebody might object. Kind of wanted some raw turquoise. You know, tie it on a string or something. I don't know. They might be home in the fall, they might be in the summer. Maybe when school is out, I don't know. When you ask a gold prospector or, or a gold miner, where can I go to get some gold and dig it up out of the ground? They usually give the very annoying, very unhelpful, and very asinine statement. Gold is where you find it! Eh, 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 eh. To which a hell of a lot of people would like to pick up a gun and say, I'd advise you to give me a better answer. Gold is not where you find it. Gold is where other people have found it. Uh, this morning I was checking the state of my um, two gold mines, the cold claims I should say, in the East Mojave Desert that I let lapse, I guess, um, in the year 2003, I guess. It's, it looks like uh, somebody has actually filed on those um, claims that I had and they've renamed the claims. And the, the corporation has gotten those claims called um, Cougar Gold or something like that, a limited liability company in Denver, Colorado. The joke is on them. The joke is on them because there's no gold there. I also went into um, a... Uh, last April, I went to get some, uh, hopefully purchase some turquoise at a turquoise mine that Ed and Cochise uh, were working. They were not home, and I recently learned that Cochise has died, which is uh, very sad because he was a very um, unique individual. So, Cochise, rest in peace. I see that Ed, his partner, has filed a new claim and he's named it after Cochise, which I think is a pretty damn uh, good thing to do. I also see that that gold consortium, Cougar Gold, has also filed on some of the old Cochise and Ed claims up there um, in uh, turquoise country. There is so damn little gold in that turquoise country <laughs> that the $127 per year maintenance fee that the corporation is paying is never going to be recovered by actually mining gold. So I can't imagine what the heck they could possibly be thinking. If they want gold, they have to head uh, more north of where they are. And there's uh, old mine claims up there that um, have lapsed and they can uh, file on those if they want also. I have been writing a Microsoft Windows program which I call Gold is Where Others Have Found It. And I don't know what the acronym for that is, but I've made a YouTube channel with that acronym. Gold is Where Others Have Found It. Gehwoshi. Gothwulfi. Gold is where others have found it. And that is the name of the program. What that program does is it has a gold database 
from the United States Geological Surveys database of mineral resources in the mostly in the United States and parts of the rest of the world. Some of the statistics on that database that is included in my uh, application, Windows application. Uh, the original database has 294,681 records of which the gold or traces of gold have 82,061 records. So the database that my program will be working on is that 82,061 records because I have extracted all of the mineral resource data that contained either gold ore or traces of gold. And those 82,061 records incorporate 65 countries. The uh, United States has 76,521 of those records and 24,000 of those are in California alone. And that database um, is free for downloading from the United States Geological Survey website. But I'm going to bundle and extract my extract of that database into my um, database viewing application program. Gihwohifi, the name of my program, Gaiwohifi or whatever, gold is where others have found it, will not only include the um, database records, if it includes the mines names, latitude, longitude, county, uh, country, state, includes um, a lot of data on when the mine uh, was first uh, discovered, if that information is known, when it was first worked, when it was last worked, uh, who discovered it, if that information is known. And not only is that information included in my uh, program, but also if one has an internet connection and they're running my program, they can get topographic maps um, from the internet by clicking on the name of the mine and saying what size map they want, what scale map they want, and if they want a topographic map or a, a aerial view map. And all of that comes from Microsoft's Terra Service Period Net service, which is um, free. So I'm, I've written a program that will look up uh, mines based on uh, country, state, if they have a state, county, if they have a county, uh, and or mine name. And then it'll give a list and then you can uh, mouse double click on a record in that list. And it'll give all the detailed information and then if you want a topographic map or an aerial photograph of that uh, mine location, I just hit the fetch map button and then it gives you options on the size and scale and whatnot. Anyhow, updates to um, notification and uh, saying when that program will be ready for free download will be on my Giwo Hifi uh, YouTube channel. That's username G-I-W-O-H-F-I. Gold is where others have found it.